Senator Kennedy, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and congratulations to each of you. Uh, Ms. Hodge, uh, I'll start on the end. Um, I believe you have written, and I'm, I want to quote, the root cause of the killing of black people in America is systemic racism. Did you say that? Thank you for the question, Senator. Yes, that was that was a statement that was um, in a, an article that I believe I wrote um, shortly after the killing of George Floyd. Right, um, and the, and did and, and you believe that that the root cause of black on black crime in America is systemic racism? Uh, thank you for that question, Senator. I will You're say welcome. I'm going to clarify. Um, in that writing and in that quote, the quote is accurate. I would revise it to say that it's one of the root causes. Um, and to your point about black on black crime or, or crime in the country generally, um, any crime, um, there are many causes um, as to why people engage in criminal activity. Okay. Um, you also have ad advocated, quote, reallocating police funding. What do you mean by that? Uh, your in that, I believe in, in a different, um, or maybe the same article or something else that, that I had same written. One. Same article. I believe I listed um, a number of things that had been proposed, and I believe were being considered by Congress in following George Floyd. Right. In what, terms what do you think? How do you think we should reallocate police funding? Well, I will clarify that I wasn't advocating for the reallocation. That was one of the things that was listed, but I believe I that. I think you were, actually. You, your quote is you advocated for, quote, reallocating police funding, and I'm just asking what you have in mind. Well, Senator, it has been some time, so I, I will say that I may not be recalling the entirety of the statement correctly. I thought I had listed it as one of the things that was proposed, but to your question, um, I believe that when a body such as Congress has the ability to make that consideration. No, um, I'm, I'm asking what you think, how you think we should reallocate police funding. Senator, I believe that that is something that is left to the body of Congress. I, I don't have um, an opinion to offer gonna, on you that. You don't have any opinion whatsoever? I believe that that's something that is left to those who are determining right. policy. You also advocated in the same article that we should eliminate qualified immunity for police officers. Is that correct? I would state that that is listed, again, as one of the listed proposed ideas that was being discussed. Actually, I extracted... No, you advocated for it. Senator, I extracted that from what was being discussed by Congress at the time following George Floyd. No, so I you advocated for it. I, I, I'm looking at the speech was entitled, quote, mandate for change will require collaboration and you advocated eliminating qualified immunity for police officers, and I'm just asking you, did you, did you advocate for it, and if so, do you, do you still have that position? Senator, um, thank you for the question. I did not advocate for the um, elimination of qualified immunity, and qualified immunity is a doctrine within which has been recognized by the court, and if I were so fortunate to be confirmed, I would abide by the Supreme Court precedent and apply the law um, as it is stated. Okay, so you, you, you deny advocating for it? I would, to, to your question, Senator, I did not advocate for the elimination of qualified immunity. I listed it as one of the things that was being discussed and presented as something that was being dialogued um, by this body amongst others across the country as to be considerations. Okay. I don't think that's accurate. Um, Judge Perez, um, I believe you have said that, quote, the war, the drug, quote, the drug war is a joke. Uh, drugs are all about economics. It's like fighting a staph infection with neosporin. You're not getting at the underlying causes for trafficking, education, and poverty. Did you say that? 
Senator, I made that statement back, I believe, in 2015 right. when I was running for judge for the Court of Common Pleas and as an advocate, I did make that statement. Yes, sir. Okay. Why do you think the drug war is a joke? Sir, I would say that my choice of language in 2015 as I was running for judge and campaigning um, was colorful. I will say this, that in my time as both a defense attorney as well as a judge sitting in criminal court, what we are seeing is a large percentage of individuals who are arrested for smaller amounts of narcotics. Let me ask that you one more particular. question. Excuse me for interrupting, but the, the, the chairman's given us five minutes for four nominees for lifetime appointments. Um, last year, DEA estimates that enough fentanyl came across our southern border to kill every man, woman, and child in America seven times. Seven times. And I'll bet you just about everybody in this room knows someone who had a teenager who um, died of fentanyl poisoning. Do you think that's a joke? Sir, it's not that it is a joke. It is my the con full context was with regards to whether or not it is an effective measure for stemming the tide of narcotics use in our communities. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 